is Myra and welcome to a new video. In this week's video, tuturuan ko kayo ng tamang paggamit ng phrases na used to and be used to. Marami sa ating mga Pilipino ang nalilito kung paano gamitin ang dalawang phrases na ito. Kahit yung mga European learners ko, isa to sa mga common errors nila. Kaya naisipan kong gumawa ng isang video about these two phrases. If you are interested in this kind of video, you might want to subscribe to my channel and paki-click niyo na rin yung notification bell right next to that button para ma-notify kayo whenever I have new uploads. Let's start with used to. Ito yung formula na kailangan niyo yung tandaan. Used to yan plus a verb. Kapag kabisado niyo yung formula na yan, mas magiging madali na for you ang uh, gamitin ang phrase na ito. It's a special form. Hindi siya talaga isang klase ng verb tense. Ang structure natin ay used with a D and then to plus a verb. Okay? Yung verb natin ay only in the present form or only in the base form. Halimbawa, go, see, watch, visit. Yun yung sinasabi nating base, base, base form. Okay. Isa sa mga kailangan nating tandaan na we use this structure only to talk about the past. Okay. Hindi nyo siya pwedeng gamitin to talk about the future or or the present. Okay. You use this structure kapag pinag-uusapan ninyo yung tungkol sa inyong past habits. Okay. Na hindi na ninyo ginagawa at present. First example, I used to drink tea. Ang verb natin dito ay drink. Used to plus drink. So, I used to drink tea. Ibig sabihin nun, um, past habit nyo yung pag-inom ng green tea na hindi na ninyo ginagawa ngayon. You don't really need to say it like this. I used to drink green tea, but now I don't do it anymore. Kasi obvious na yon kapag ginamit niyo yung phrase na used to, obvious na yon na it's a past habit. So when you say I used to drink green tea, uh, automatically yung listener niyo uh, maiintindihan na niya na that was your past habit. So in Filipino, parang ang ibig sabihin niyan ay lagi akong umiinom ng green tea dati. Pero ngayon, hindi ko na siya ginagawa. Another example is, I used to smoke. Kapag sinabi niyo yung sentence na yon in Filipino, ang ibig sabihin nun, dati, madalas akong naninigarilyo. Pero ngayon, hindi na. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng phrase na, I used to smoke. Here are more examples. I used to go to the beach every summer. Dati, palagi akong pumupunta sa beach tuwing tag-araw. I used to work at that company. Dati, nagtatrabaho ako sa kumpanyang yun. I used to love him. Mahal ko siya dati. Basta lagi nyo lang tatandaan na ang form na used to plus verb in the base form ay ginagamit when you talk about past habits or actions that are no longer done. Kapag pinag-uusapan nyo yung mga bagay na ginagawa dati, na hindi nyo na ginagawa ngayon. Pwede nyo nga rin palang gamitin ang form na ito when you talk about your past traits. Pag sinabing traits, ito yung mga katangian ninyo. So, when you talk about your past traits or yung mga katangian ninyo dati na hindi nyo na katangian ngayon. For example, I used to be shy. Used to plus be be yung verb natin sa sentence na to. And then, yung trait niyo ay yung word na shy. I used to be shy. In Filipino, dati, mahiyain ako. Pero ngayon, hindi na. Another example is, I used to be narrow-minded. Used to, and then, be. So, be ulit yung verb natin. Kasi when you're describing your traits, kailangan nyo yung be verb. Be verb plus yung adjective. So, adjective natin sa sentence na to is narrow-minded. So, I used to be narrow-minded. Ibig sabihin na to in Filipino, dati, makitid ang utak ko. Pero ngayon, hindi na. Now, paano naman kung negative form? Halimbawa, 
Dati, hindi ko siya gusto. Pero ngayon, gusto ko na siya. Ito yung formula natin para dyan. Did not or didn't, kung gusto nyo pa iksiin, plus used to, na walang D at the end of use, plus verb in the base form. Kaya ang English translation ng Filipino sentence na binigay ko sa inyo kanina, I did not used to like him. Kung gusto nyo paiksiin yung did not used to, pwede nyo sabihin na I didn't used to like him. Dati, hindi ko siya gusto. Pero ngayon, gusto ko na siya. Gets nyo na ba? I'll give you another example. I did not used to exercise in the morning. Or, I didn't used to exercise in the morning. Kung gusto nyo paiksiin yung did not. In Filipino, dati, hindi ako nag ehersisya sa umaga. The second structure is be used to something. Yung structure na to, ginagamit natin siya kapag gusto nating um, i-explain yung mga bagay na familiar tayo. It talks about familiarity with something. In Tagalog, yung mga bagay na um, sanay tayo. Kailangan natin ng be verb. Pag sinabi natin be verb, ito yung am, is, are, was, were. Basta kailangan, ang gagamitin niyo ay be verb. Kaya nga, be used to. Okay? Now, after ng to, which is a preposition in that phrase, tandaan niyo na yung to sa phrase na ito ay isang prep preposition. Um, kailangan ang kasunod ng preposition natin ay hindi verb. Okay? Hindi siya verb. At uh, one of the rules in using prepositions is that after a preposition, kailangan noun, noun phrase, gerund, or gerund phrase ang kasunod ng preposition. Okay? Never follow a preposition with a verb. Okay? Kahit kailan, hindi sinusundan ng verb ang preposition sa isang sentence. I'll give you an example. I am used to working until midnight. So, I am used to working until midnight. Yung working ay isang gerund. Okay? Yung phrase na working until midnight is a gerund phrase. Katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, uh, gerund or the ing form ang kailangan mong gamitin. Yung gerund, it looks like a verb in its continuous form. Yung ing form, di ba? But it functions as a noun. It does not function as a verb. Halimbawa, I like swimming. Doon sa sentence na yon yung swimming ay isang noun, okay? Yung act of swimming, yung pangalo ng activity na yon or sport, okay, ay swimming. Maraming nalilito dito kasi nga sanay tayo ng to do, to go, to visit, parang infinitive, right? Yung ginagamit natin. Pero sa phrase na ito, you need to use a gerund. In Filipino, sanay akong magtrabaho hanggang hating gabi. And that's true in my case because I work from 3 p.m. to 12 midnight. I am used to working until midnight. Bastang lagi nyo lang tatandaan kapag ginagamit nyo ang structure na be used to plus something is that you use it to talk about familiarity with something or someone. Or when you talk about something that is easy for you or you are comfortable with. In Tagalog, Kapag gusto nyo pag-usapan or gusto nyo sabihin yung mga bagay na sanay na kayo or yung mga bagay na hindi na bago para sa inyo. You can also use different verb tenses in this phrase. I'll give you more examples. In these example sentences, I'm going to use the simple present tense. Number one, I am used to children. Yung word na children ay isang noun. I am used to children. In Filipino, sanay ako sa mga bata. Number two, I am used to this place. Yung this place ay isang noun phrase. I am used to this place. In Filipino, sanay ako sa lugar na to. Number three, I am used to cooking. Yung word na cooking ay isang gerund. 
It functions as a noun, pero mukha siyang verb. I am used to cooking. In Filipino, sanay ako sa pagluluto. Number four, I am used to eating quickly. Yung eating quickly ay isang gerund phrase. Nagsistart siya sa eating, which is a gerund, kaya isa siyang gerund phrase. I am used to eating quickly. In Filipino, sanay ako sa pagkain ng mabilisan. Para sa negative form naman ng structure na to, simple lang, dadagdagan nyo lang ng not or susundan nyo lang ng not yung be verb ninyo. Halimbawa, I'm not used to speaking in English. In Filipino, hindi ako sanay sa pagsasalita ng Ingles. I was not used to crowded places. In Filipino, hindi ako dating sanay sa matataong lugar. Are you ready for a quiz? Let's start! My mother cook on the weekends. Used to or is used to? I didn't used to vegetables. Eat or eating? I, waking up early in the morning, used to or am used to? My friends, my nasty eating habits, used to or are used to? I play the piano when I was in school. Used to or am used to? English, difficult for me. Used to be or is used to being? She, being treated like that, didn't used to, or wasn't used to. I know it's a demanding job, but you will, wit, used to, or be used to. If you were able to perfect the quiz, congratulations! Kung hindi naman, baka naman kailangan mong aralin ulit, panoorin ulit yung video, and retake the quiz. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in my next video.